We are live. On time and live. <laughs> oh, this is too much. On time and live. What have you guys been yakking about? Just about time for the guys to be late. <laughs> Sorry, Robert. I'm on time. The man is on time. One o'clock. I don't know what your clock up north says, but uh, down here, I hit it right on the button. <laughs> welcome, welcome. Well, you guys have been chattering for a while, haven't you? Oh, this thing. If you guys have a better idea, we're live here at ProTicketToys.com. This is the, the uh, this live stream of um, the auction featurette that we do of the six cars that we auction off on Thursday nights on race night at ProTicketToys.com. Race night is Thursday nights from 7 to 8. The auction is from 6 to 7. And what we do is we auction off six collectible cars. Hey, Rob. Six collectible cars that Brian has purchased from collectors from different sources we'll put it that way and then he wants to get them back out to the public get them back out to the slot car novice the slot car newbie the slot car enthusiast the slot car collector etc etc and so what he does is he picks them up and i thought i'd prep this prep this i would hate to see the damage to the truck frankie's yeah well that's some other story. We're it's we're somewhere else here. We're at ProTicketToys.com at the auction featurette. So we got some lots of fun stuff happening with this featurette and some different things that have been going on. It's a crazy day here at the store. And Brian's on vacation. And we'll leave it at that. He's having a nice time. He's on vacation. He's enjoying it, I hope. He's probably complaining about everything, but still that's the way he enjoys things. But I am Turbo Timbo, the Kolchak of slot car stalking. You know me. If you're a newbie on the show or coming to the stream, hello, Kevin. They, these guys started off, somebody, I think it was Mark that started off that because uh, I wore my hat and the way I would hunt information and investigate these slot cars because I don't, I don't like slot cars. I don't buy slot cars. I don't um, know slot cars. You guys do. But I can drive slot cars. I can drive slot cars. And so these guys said, well, it looks like Kolchak, blah, blah, blah. And I thought that was pretty funny. And then another person came up, came up it was Ted, and he came up with this picture. <laughs> uh, so the Kolchak of slot car investigation. Yo, Ryburn. Oh, and then uh, somebody else sent this with Kolchak. This is actually... I think I'm going to do... Oh, shoot. This is... I'm flying this stuff around. But that stalker returns. Yeah, and then Robert's got his poor humor he tries to in, in, put in there. This is probably... It's Kolchak. Oh. Then we deal with some of the, the... Just crummy humor. You guys need a good book. Yes, everyone hit thumbs up. I appreciate that. Yo, Mark, Robert, Ted, Kevin, Ryber, and the whole, the whole clan's here. We got a great show today. A great... I don't... Is it a show or a stream? Yeah. That, it's a great show. Is that the, the producer's back, too. Thank goodness. I can't do everything. I make my own coffee. I do my own makeup. I do my own wardrobe. <laughs> I do my cinematography. And he's finally here. He's the editor, cinematographer, voice, sound, gaffer, etc. <clears throat> it's a crazy day. It's been a crazy day. Ryan has been on the phone constantly. Uh, boy, thank goodness for our voicemail now. We use a voicemail and we're able to screen calls. You guys, we just can't do these chummy... 45 minute chum calls anymore because it's just it's constant with people wanting information but we got we boy have i tim jack of all trades chucky b baby did you get your box yet i sent you something special chucky b okay mark i <laughs> don't start me mark if you guys have a different idea for this for the angle or if i should i'm just trying to it, what we have here now works okay i mean we're under a limited uh production cost i mean you know we're a b movie um but if you got a different way i should angle things or put it closer if i could i would nice printing things making noise but we're, we'll see what we can do my hair's growing back in getting a good crop there but we got a great show and i a couple of things real quick did you have two things you wanted me to show? 
There wasn't anything on the trucks, the rigs. Okay. Let's get that. Okay, that's Clint. Get the party started. Actually, actually, Clint, that's uh, James Murray. He likes to say that. Let's get the party going. What? Okay. Couple next of, car. What? Next car. Next. Yeah, next car. <laughs> hey, Tim, I'm going to do my best to be nice to you. Okay, that's a good <laughs> idea, Rob. I appreciate that's that. Good attitude. Tim has questioned my sense of... I don't question it. Robert, I just know it's bad. <laughs> you just don't have a sense of humor, period. Okay, a couple of things real quick, because I've been, I've been what I call cold jacking. <laughs> okay, I'm going to run this by a couple of times. This is going to be fun, because this is all I'm going to be doing when I'm, I'm cold jacking. A couple of things I want you to keep in mind. Don't forget, a lot of our information that we get with these uh, cars, with the slot cars, I get from my, the, the slot car enthusiasts, you guys, no slot cars. I don't. But I do get some information from this particular, uh, <laughs> ouch, you good. From this particular book. And this is the complete, this is for newbies or those that are just coming into the stream or the show, whatever you want to call it. Um, this book is, is on Amazon.com. You can get this book on Amazon.com, all right? This has a lot of information about just the book or the cars, I'm sorry, the slot cars. Great pictures, great photos, and that's where I find the ratings, etc. All right, that's in this book. This was published in 2000, so it was probably printed and put together in 98, 99. So you're talking about 22, 23 years old of information. So everything that's from this book is about 22, 23 years old of information. All right, okay, U of M, I'll send it to you if you win an auction. You get a, yeah, somebody actually requested me to sign this, so I did send it out. I did sign it. And uh, I got all my teeth. I uh, sent that out. <laughs> it's too much of you guys doing that. But this is fascinating. Get this book for info if you want. We don't sell this book here at ProTicketories.com. But I did a little cold checking. And I found out, first of all, we sold out our Greenberg guide. We sold it out. And now we're getting a new stock coming in. We have a new stock. Yes, Kevin, we signed those. We have a new stock coming in. And I want to tell you right now, we just put 10 more in ProTicketToys.com for a pre-order. 10 more that you could purchase of these Greenberg Guide to Aurora Slot Car. You have got to get the... If you don't have it, you need it. I, I that's, that's probably one of the best sales pitches I've ever... I know. I've never done that before. No, I don't sell like tell that. People not to buy I tell people not to buy. I tell them to be frugal, put your money away, you know, oh, yeah. <laughs> Sunday... But I found out some stuff because I was cold checking. I was I was cold checking. This book, if you can believe it, is on it is on Amazon. This is on Amazon. It's eighty one dollars. We only charge nineteen ninety five or nineteen ninety nine, and it's this is brand new here. ProTickerToys.com. This is used. It's in good shape, but it's a used book, and I printed this off real quick it's 81 bucks on amazon now i didn't get a chance to fit the picture to um get the other they only have one left 81 bucks only one left and it was used okay then i get on ebay i find out that this book up in canada they're selling them for 129 dollars on ebay and the one guy had it 129 and made it uh, so us dollars was uh, 99 dollars <laughs> okay, the reason I have the cut the cut glove, first of all, people complain about my gorgeous hands. They're always making comments about how nice my hands are, and I just got tired of comment or the comments. So I decided to wear white gloves, and that way I can, when I pick up the cars, I'm not getting my oil on them or fingerprints, etc. Oh, the guys, you got to check out these cars today. I I'm personally, for some odd reason, maybe it's just a good day, and I'm like working with Ryan, and it's been busy, but I'm excited about this batch. I'm so excited. I even have, I, I think I even have a couple of favorites or one favorite. If and I, you know me, I don't like slot cars. I don't know slot cars. I don't uh, buy slot cars, but I can drive slot cars. You know, seven victories in a row on Thursday night can't beat that. No, okay, can't. Yeah, we're not bidding. This is tomorrow night. But uh, you got me off track. So eBay. How'd you get me off track? What was I mentioning? The Greenberg Guide to Auto on eBay. 
Oh, that's right. This is brand new. And those that were on eBay and Amazon were all used. In good condition, but used. We're, you're getting a steal here at ProTicketToys.com for $19.99. And you're going to have your own collectible, and it's brand new. It's not in a used condition. So I would consider you guys thinking about uh, maybe if you don't have it, you should have it. If you don't have this in your, your catalog, you should. And with that said, um, oh, and oh, Mandy's back. Mandy and Clint says, Tim's, you're still talking. <laughs> That's what the show's about, Clint. Yeah. I'm supposed to yak about slot cards, okay? Mandy was so nice. I, they made me work on my birthday. Monday was my birthday. I went. I was 71. I'm 71. They made me work. I had to come to work. So Mandy, out of the kindness of heart, she's my favorite niece-in-law. <laughs> my favorite niece. But well, remember. What? Remember what? None of that would have happened. Wouldn't have happened unless I was involved. Nah, she I, knew way ahead. I am the one who grabbed her and married her. No, oh, she wouldn't poor even be in thing. The family. She, oh, <laughs> <laughs> if I would have met her. She would have been okay before that. But Mandy, she made me Monday night. That she brought it over because the kids had a ball game. And there was a by myself on my birthday after I'd worked all day, and I had to work all day. Actually, Ryan was going to be the, going to give me the day off to do some just putzing around, but uh, Dakota never showed up for work. He called in sick. So Mandy made me a big platter of lasagna. Lasagna, guys. Lasagna. Where do I look? Do I look over here or over here? I still don't know where to look. That's true. 71 isn't old if you're a tree. She made a big platter, and then they found out, somehow they found out that I like when people ask me what's your favorite cake on my birthday, I always I love carrot cake. It's either carrot cake or coconut coconut cake. Carrot cake, and she got me a carrot cake. So that evening I got to have lasagna. It was delicious. It was, oh, the peppers in it were awesome. And then she also had a carrot cake for me, and I still have some of that carrot cake left over. And I'm going to have it. I'm going to share it with the guys on race night tomorrow night. So big, just a big thank you, Mandy, for thinking of your old uncle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she put. Yeah, that's right. She took pity on on poor Ryan, and um, made brought for my birthday. That was so sweet. All right, now a couple of things I want to show in the book here. It's fascinating because I did a little bit of uh, everybody's yakking away. A little bit of cold checking here on this book, just to just to tweak you. This the history. It's the history of. This. It's not only a guide, but it's the historical aspect of it. It shows a picture of Derek Brand, which who is the father, the father of H O slot cars. Okay, here's a picture of that that's in this this magazine book, and then it has the information of what he devised, what he was doing with that. Look at that picture there. That's Derek Brand, the father of H.O. Slot Cars. Thanks, Mandy. This is my, yeah, we'll call it my, my birthday week. <laughs> it was good, too. And then I had leftovers last night. Oh, I had leftover lasagna. Mandy was awesome. I sprinkled a little bit more oregano on it, put some olive oil on it, and then I heated it up. Oh, I'm saving the, the, the cake for Thursday night. But check out that picture there. And this is all in this guide. All right? And then... I did a little bit more cold checking, and I started reading some of the stuff because I haven't had time to look thoroughly look. But chapter two, they have a whole thing on Thunder Jets on chapter two. What's up? Yes, yes, Ted. I thought I'd better bookmark that way. It would save time, so you guys wouldn't good? say, "Come on, let's get on with the party." Sort of. Uh oh. Okay, there we go. Look at that chapter two, and then within chapter two of the Thunder Jets, that's that famous image I like, and we're thinking of making. Um, Printing this off and somehow getting this on our website or, or Instagram, but check out that instruction manual there of that of the parts. Isn't that fascinating? The commutators and the and the oh, the, oh and last night I I, I I was bad yesterday. I used this to educate my. You still I used this to educate myself. I tore one of the chassis down to look at all this, and I've got a suggestion. I might as well just bring it out now with the suggestion is that when you're taking these parts out here, like these magnets here, you're trying to put the commutators back into the holes here with the, some of them have springs, blah, blah, blah. All right. Instead of using, or instead of using um, 
Maybe you guys do this. That's probably smart. I just, I use whatever tools were around that Brian's left for me. But instead of using metal tweezers, because I tried putting a spring in the hole with my fat fingers and it doesn't work very well. <laughs> but instead of using metal, which sticks to these magnets, which drives me nuts, plastic. I'm going to look for plastic uh, tweezers, little plastic tweezers. We used to use them in the hospital. And uh, this could uh, work just as well. Plastic, yes. Plastic tweezers. Thanks, Chuck. I knew you guys did this. I'm just... This is something that I came up by accident because I take these magnets out and then put the commutators in first and then put the magnets back in. That way I wasn't sticking. This thing wasn't sticking to the to the uh, magnet there. But uh, yeah, thought you guys might uh, appreciate that as far as the plastic tweezers. But I'm using these now instead of these uh, big fat fingers. So that's pretty cool. And I got the engine to work right. It's actually got it to work. All right. I use chopsticks. <laughs> Guys are funny. A real sense of humor around here. You must, you must, have, been re re you must have read Robert Fish's How Not to Be Funny book. <laughs> it just came out first edition. <laughs> oh, patience been required today, gentlemen. You betcha. All right, let's 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 jump into this. I had so much I wanted to share, but let's get the party rolling because this is blockbuster stuff, guys. I've got some cars here that I thought were really just, eh. you know, Brian picked a bunch out, threw them in the container, and then told me, you know, go for it. And I did. I did, you know, I went for it. You know, I, I, I cold checked it. <laughs> that grid kills me. And these are some real buttes that we have to auction off tomorrow night. Um, I was surprised. And plus, I have a couple of maybe I might, I, I mean, I might have a favorite or two. I got one in particular. Keeps My eye keeps going to it. Oh, James Reeves. And James Reeves was so nice. He sent me a box of it. I can't, I'm not, I don't know, a box of cigars for my birthday. Oliva O's, and they are just, and Maduro's, oh, Nicaraguan Maduro's, they are absolutely delicious, and I appreciate that, and then my son Timmy, he's sending, um, I think he's sending me a gift, and that's arriving today by UPS, he said, he's up in Michigan, he lives in Grand Rapids, Michigan, so he's sending me a gift, and all the other kids are wishing me happy birthday, okay, focus, Timbo, focus, yes, Clint, all right, yeah, James, thanks a lot. They were uh, really good. In fact, I, I don't want to get spoiled. You got to stop because I can't, I don't want to get spoiled. But let's go with the first car and uh, get started here. And I want to show you something that's kind of unique because this came along, which Ryan noticed this. And so I give Ryan credit. But we had this, just to get to this part first, we had this box. This box, well, just was being used for another car, okay? For some reason, it was being used for another car that was in this whole collection. Then, with a little bit of, um, Ryan noticed that it had 4J on the side, okay? Let me show you this. 4J with the number, 1382. And he said, well, why is this box? He, he was noticing this as he was making the pictures to put on Instagram. And when he saw this he goes hey well, how come this is in this car's in that box i said i don't know that's the that's what they gave me they gave me the cars with the, brian gave me the car with the box in it and he goes well that looks like it belongs to the other car and sure enough i checked the name on that i checked the number right here 1382 okay 1382 aurora and this goes with this actual car this is the 1382 i got the info right here 4G car. It's the 4G car, 1966 to 1972. I'm going to pull it out in a minute, but I wanted to show you how cool this was. This is the box that this car would go into. And then I was cold checking some more, and I noticed the pictures of those boxes, of this box in particular, in our book, in the Greenberg's Guide. And here's one of those boxes that's used to put to put the car in 
right there with the yellow corners here and here and then the inside section there so it's that box that you see i can't do all this at once i just found that fascinating so this car is coming with one of its original boxes now this gets even better this gets even better clint so i pull it out you know i'm just i'm just hunting i like artistically and historically i'm just hunting away i'm to solve another one <laughs> I just, <laughs> i'm just cold checking okay just try to solve another just solve another one inside which is kind of cool well i, I won't pull it out that is so funny. but it has these instructions on where and how to oil it this is antique stuff this is vintage stuff look at that look at the back side this just, I love these illustrations. I'm an artist. I just love these drawings and illustrations. Am I holding this? Is that clear enough? Look at that. This is part of, then, this is going to be part of this car that we're going to auction tomorrow night. This will come with it. And this is the actual vehicle. Now, tell me if that isn't doing some cold checking, huh? Kevin, we're not bidding today. <laughs> <laughs> I There's got, always one. There's always one. It's Kevin. He's always bidding. <laughs> I, I can't be any more exciting, Super Dave. I'm with you, bro. I'm with you, Super Dave. This, <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'm, ex <laughs> I, I can't get over it. <laughs> <laughs> Goodness, get it. Jim, do tell. Everyone likes. Well, that. okay. If you guys, I, I'll shut off. I'll shut down then. If you're not excited, I'll, I'll. I'm, well, I think they were saying how you are. Man. It is super exciting. <laughs> Mr. Carter Young's gone at a hundred. <laughs> we're not bidding, Mr. Carter Young. What's going on, Mr. Carter? You're you're way behind. Go back to the beginning. I don't have time for Mr. Carter Young. Okay, I so who that is? Oh, who cares? <laughs> okay, so that comes with the box. This is come. Oh, this car is okay. This car is sweet. This car is sweet. Check that out and the box and everything. All right. All right, let's go with this. This is the 4G car. This is a 1382. I checked the number on it. Ted, I checked it thoroughly. Check the number on it, Ted, and everything is good. Oh, that was good, Dave. Super Dave, I liked it. I thought it was a good comment. Yeah, I, look at that. Check that. Look at the body work on this. Now, let's clarify some of this. This has a what's called a small wind glass, window glass, a small glass here it has the front of it is has the silver headlights silver headlights and they are painted that was factory painted it's not customized later these were put on it was being factory made all right the glass painted silver and this was keep in mind when this book the information from the book was explaining it in 1998 1999 this was a very popular car in fact, it was very it was very common, and it was and it was saying that it's not only common then, but it was popular earlier on. So you're talking the early 1990s. If this was 1966 to 1972, this was a very early popular car, and so that's what's fascinating about this. Look at the condition that this is in. Now, remember the front is this is what's called mask painted this section here and in here is masked painted and then normally on the side this strip right here would be black and that's the curiosity should i get that closer is that blur out when i get it real close it blurs out on my tablet yeah. it does you see it blurring out the on there. oh you're talking to somebody else No, it hasn't been olive oiled. I did not olive oil this one because this just already looks really nice. I should, but I didn't. Now, I looked in the book and that this is in a case and it's hard to see in the case, but this is supposed to have been black. Yes. Yep. Yeah, I'm sorry, a J, not a G. A J, thank you, right. Jeff. A G, it's a Ford G car. I'll be right back. Well, what happened? Oh. Ford, it's a Ford G. 
In fact, let me see if I can, that's page 35. I'll show you something here real quick in the book. Somebody here? No, I, I got it. Somebody's at the workshop. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh-oh. I got the wrong, that's the wrong book. That's why. <laughs> 35. So here's the picture of it. There are the colors. You can figure them out yourself. I'm not going to list every single color. But it's the one right here. The green and black. And right there, you can see the little trim right there. It's supposed to be black. Like, they're all. That would be all black. That's black. That's black. The black. Black on the side. And that's what I'm curious, Ted. Yes. Thanks, guys. You guys, I hopefully... You're passing the information back and forth for me because I don't know slot cars. I don't like slot cars. <laughs> I don't buy slot cars. But Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania likes slot cars. Wish I could mute that somehow. So let me get back to the car itself. It has a silver strip. Why? And it doesn't, I can't tell if it's, that's a custom. It almost looks like it was factory painted. But see the little, the little scratch up there? Open 12 to 5, Monday through and there's the side there. The blue one in the book has silver side stripes. It does? I don't see that in the blue in the book. Where? I see the black right there, but I don't see the silver side. Where, Ted? That's a light reflection there. But what's that right there? It looks black. It says it's supposed to match it too. It says whatever mask or what's painted on that matches the side. The blue car, what blue car? Oh, up here, oh, I see what you're saying. I see, you say that one. Okay, well this is in this one, yes. Well though, yeah, that's the black and white and that's the blue and black. So you, all right. So they came out, dude, they came out with black and a, <laughs> Oh, boy, you guys are really nice people. <laughs> Upper right-hand corner, yeah, I saw that. I mean, I see that now that you're saying. So that could have been either way. It come, it could be black like it shows in the book, or it could be silver like it also shows on the other cars. Gotcha. That's pretty neat. That's clean, isn't it? Anything else about this, guys? Yeah, you have this. Look at that little section right there, that little... Is that close enough? Or does it go blur? I'm trying to give you guys the best shot on these and how clean these are. This is the engine. Well, Ted, I think you're right though. I think now it, it probably is factory because they just did both. And Beers didn't put it in his book. It looks good. Oh, it looks clean as a whistle. I mean, it doesn't look like it's spin it over. Okay, now the spin overs. I need a little bit more juice than this battery because I spun it on the, um, some of the chassis you guys are gonna have to be a little patient with because some of them weren't spinning on the battery. You can just, you can just hear it. You see it? It's working and it stops for a second. Yeah, I think it has to be tweaked, right? There it goes. You hear it? And I put it on the track and it really zooms. So I think it's just the juice of this is starting to give. But the, on the track, it, it was um, kicking some some jam. Because I noticed a lot of, of this batch, the chassis were not spinning right off the bat. I had to either tweak them, oil it a little bit, and then the one I took completely apart to see what it could do. But, they're, but they were all clean. It's just that they were used. And also, I checked on all of them. All the posts on these are in very good condition. There's no cracks. There's no breaks. Yes, it needs to be service adjusted. Yes, Ted. It, well, it is. I think it is. I love this front end. That front little cut there. The little indentation. Check that out. And then that's the engine. Took it apart. Looked inside. It was all clean. This has the open solder. Um, 
the other side. I'm gonna close open. Try a new battery. I don't have a new battery, Rob. <clears throat> everything around here, Brian, he saves everything that's broken. If the battery's old, he puts it in a box, saves it. So I grab these batteries that are all dead. I don't know why you just don't throw the battery away. <laughs> a rivet. Thank you, Kevin. That's an open rivet. I got a little hood thing on the top. You can't see it in the box there. What do you think? Any questions on that? Look at that back end too. It's it's just in perfect shape. It's just gorgeous. And I got a oh by the way, and I got online and checked the prices of these guys. They vary. Same Pittsburgh. Why don't they just leave a message? Same Pittsburgh. Um, they just leave a message. Look at that. Look at that black in there. Hello, this is Toasty to Toys. We are open 12 to 5, Monday through... Yeah, just leave a message. See, they, they hang up, and then they try back in 10 minutes as if we're going to answer it right away. Look at that. Look at that. This is a clean. This is clean. I checked the prices on eBay, Amazon, all over the net. And they vary from 50 to 80 to $100. And I, I gave up. I just said, you know what? These guys are going to pay for what they want, for what they want to spend. And these are collectors, collectibles. So, and, and I think Super Dave asked me last time, were those, had they been sold or hadn't they been? And yes, some of these had been sold. They have been sold. And I've got three more that had high prices, too. In fact, I even got a copy of one that was surprising. And they had been sold, and then they had one left. So I, it it's a wide variation, guys. A wide vari variation of the pricing. And it's up to you, those that have an interest in this, as a newbie, as a novice, as a collector, as an enthusiast. If you want to have one of these, you're gonna, you, you, you pay for it. Or you get on the auction and try to see if you can outbid someone. This is really, though, really sweet. And plus, what's fascinating about this one, too, is the, the silver sidelines, which vary, but it comes with the actual box. We found the actual box with the collection. So I'm going to slip that in there. This is, and it's the body number, 1382. I checked that with the beers, 1382. That's all been checked. In fact, I should say correctly, it's been cold checked. <laughs> it's been cold checked. All right, that's the first car. We're moving on with the party. This one's nice. This one's nice. It's almost my favorite, but... I got some other gems coming up. I'm going to put this back in here, and we're going to move on to car number two. Car number two. Again, the prices on this, I was just, I did research. I was cold checking last night, and uh, after I got all the other information done, check out this one. This is the Ferrari, the Ferrari 250. This is an and I'll be real quick. Over all of them, all the bodies are just in excellent shape. Very surprising. In excellent shape. All right? Just to give you a heads up. Uh-oh, now I got I got all kinds of in stuff coming in. Uh, hold on. Another got calls, got this, got that. Okay, that's good. That's Oh, good. All right. That's good. All right? This is the Ferrari 250. GTO, and this is sweet. Kind of, I'm, in, I'm kind of, kind of fascinated. Guys, I can't. Ryan had to run down to the workshop for something. And I can't read all this and keep up and try to do this at the same time. So you're going to converse. Check out the hood on there. The little hump in the hood. I like that design. But this is the Ferrari 250 GT 1964 to 1970. So I can get a little closer. Let me know if it gets too blurry, though. It looks like it's blurry on my end. The body number is a 1368. It's the body and stripes. These are the original stripes, white and red. It has a four rating. 
four rating, but again, four rating 22 years ago, uh, the ratings of all those cars together, it's the cars themselves. This was, it seems with the history that I find found out about it, this car itself was very popular in its heyday, very popular. I can see probably 6470, the James Bond stuff and all the, the Ferrari, the 250, the GTO. I could see some of that and why. They work awesome. I always like that body. Yeah, I do too, Ted. I, the, the body is intriguing. It's just, it's sleek. What else did I have here? In its heyday, and this was before 2000. So we're talking about in its heyday, even before that, 64 to uh, what, 70? Oh yeah, the box looked great. You got, you're talking, you must be having a delay. The box is gone. This does not have a box. Now the rear bumper, now this is what's in, this is intriguing with this 42. I'm trying to give you the whole setup. Got a few decals. Clean as a whistle again. And they're fun to run. Thanks, Jeff. I appreciate that. Yes. Clay, Cliff, we're not, we're not mini right now. There's the front. Is this clear enough, guys? When I look at it later, it's just like it seems like it's too small all the way. Can you see this close up? But look at the rear bumper. See the rear bumper? This section right in here. Oh, I can't get right. Right through there, that section. That section there. That was is what I found out is added. It was added onto the car inside there and then painted the car color. So that rear bumper is added. They consider the end part, the end section there added, and then the color of the car was painted. Isn't that fascinating? The history behind that? That that's to me is kind of interesting. I, I find that when I'm, you know, when I'm just picking these cars out and then cold checking. It's just, it's, it's, fa it's fascinating to find that out. And, and the condition, check out the pi the pipes. And that's what I'm reading. A lot of this stuff, they're either broken or missing, but everything is intact. Whoever took care of this car, whoever had it, these are all pre-owned. Don't forget fellas really did a nice job in keeping this in good condition. What else did I find out about this thing? Oh, and then just, I guess, backup information. This part of the glass, it seemed to be important with those that I read. Uh, this glass is glued in. It wasn't pressed in or manufactured in, but it was actually, I think, a glued, in, glued in. And the front headlights were sprayed on. Those are actually sprayed on. Just for clarification, those are sprayed on front headlights. Two stripes, then running from front to back. And they are nicely done. They are nicely done. Check that out. The one thing that deviated from the picture in the book if, that I could tell, and maybe not, you guys can tell me, help me, is the, the, the gas thing in the back here. That little spot was, I think, the cream color of the car. But I couldn't tell by the angle. So, Ted, if you could tell me if that was just some little minor adaptation or addition let me know and that's got some decals on the side this is a this is a if there's a one that i kind of would have a favorite towards it would be this one now a lot of these cars too is the wheels a lot of the back wheels are shot and this is what i wanted to ask ted about I checked online and looked at a lot of different cars similar to this, the GTO, but I didn't like the axle here. Look at, so notice the wide uh, hubs with the axle. The other ones were smaller, have a smaller um, ratio here. So Ted, do you, I would, and then when I, I did run it just to test it, but see the, the spacing between here and here and here and here. And a lot of them that I looked at didn't have that. The wheel was more underneath the uh, wheel well. So, guys, do you do this? Do you like this? Wrong wheels for that car. I think so. I think these. I think it's the wrong axle. I mean, does this whole part, this part, this section here and the wheel come off or just the wheel? I, I don't want to. 
Okay, it's added paint. Thanks. Okay, that's what that's what I thought, Moronic. That's what I thought it was this part we were talking about. He's mentioning that was then added later. It's not part of the thing that was added later. Yeah, I'd like to myself if I had this, I'd pop that off. Tough ones series of T jets. Oh, okay. I'd probably pop that off and go back to a more original tire or original. What do you call that part right in there? Rim. I do think when I opened this up, I did open it up. By the way, both posts are in excellent condition. They're not cracked or split. And there was, I got on eBay, uh, was eBay? And I showed one and he was selling this same car. I'm not even gonna go pricey, it was so high. It was like, okay, I hope it sells. And then it said he had sold one before, I think. And then uh, was re had another one in stock, but they must be uh, not rare, but the price was up there. <laughs> up there. See, it was it like a, I didn't, and I I stopped part, writing down the prices because I'm like they they just vary, and it depends on who wants it. And uh, it was like in the hundreds, hundred dollars or so. But I got another one. I actually took a print. I made a print of. Not to get away from that, but the wheel well. The wheel well here and here, I think, are shaved. Now, when I say shaved, I'm talking about on the interior at an angle. They're shaved at an angle, so you don't see it so much on the exterior as you do on the interior. So I opened this up, looked on the interior, and I think the two wheel wells on the side here have been slightly shaved. Now, when I say cut, I mean you can literally see the cut as you go around the wheel well, and that's why I call it that. But I just love this black little section right here, which is factory produce that little section there i hope you guys can see that can you see it okay that's beautifully done there but i call it cuts where you can actually see the outside being cut at but the shave is they came in from an angle on the inside so you don't see it as much yeah i saw robert i saw your humor you have to repeat yourself go have your cigarette no these are a question are we selling stuff no we're not selling this is what's called an auction feature at and this is before we do the auction on Thursday nights from 6 to 7. Tomorrow night, we'll auction these cars off. Tomorrow night, I'm just answering a question here from uh, Overbuilt Automotive. And so we have six cars. We, we look at them. We examine them. I'll let you guys talk about the cars. Question? Oh, let, uh, let you guys talk about the cars. Give me information to give back to you so that when we do the auction, we just show the car and we bid on it. We don't go into what it's all about and hopefully you guys are picking up on that and then see it you understand and that's why i do a little bit of um just the guy started this i did i wasn't even supposed to be doing this i thought this was ryan and brian's gig but i'm somehow somebody these guys got me started into cold checking <laughs> investigating slot cars because they know i don't like slot cars i don't buy slot cars i don't know slot cars but I can drive slot cars. <laughs> right, Don? Don must not be on today. He's always good with uh, the punchline. This thing is just, uh, this is probably a little favorite. Don't tell James Murray. Hopefully he's not on, but this is probably one of my little favorites. If I was ever going to have a slot car. <laughs> just, just the style of that. <laughs> Robert needs counseling. <laughs> Oh, oh, okay. There, check out there, Tim. Anyone thirty seconds? Not yet. They haven't. We haven't. We're just doing HO, but we're. I think we're going to eventually roll into that if these auctions go well enough. Again, um, overbuilt. These are auctions. Brian comes across these collections from other sources, various sources, and then wants to get these back out into the public, and so he purposely buys a a, a collection of, of these and then. We turn around and try to auction them off or sell them off in groups. But to let the opportunity, to let the enthusiast, the collector, the novice, the newbie um, jump in on getting a, a vintage classic. These are all pre-owned. <laughs> These are all pre-owned. And they're just fascinating, but they're in such great condition. Oh, you don't own any slot cars yet? Well, then don't don't worry about it. Don't go, don't buy them. Buy art. Get into art. Or, or <laughs> don't get into slot cars. Get into art. 
Look at art paintings and stuff. Books. Read books. Overbill automobile. I don't know what it's like. I don't. You don't. I don't like slot cars. I don't know slot cars. I don't buy slot cars. But I can drive slot cars. <laughs> oh, that's too much. Yeah, look at that. This is really a nice one. But again, shaved wheel wells. What else do I have down for this one? It's just in, it's in great shape. Okay, I got to spin it for somebody. I think some of these engines were just not primed. And I was going to, I had a question about that. Yeah, there we go. She's going, but she's a little slow. She really goes well. I think the battery is getting old. She goes well on the track. When I had her on the track, she was really, there we go. This depends on how I get it. I think it needs some tweaking. Nice sound. But I was curious, do you guys switch the, the, the bodies out? I mean, this is a, uh, I think a Thunderjet body, right? Yes, James, I like the historical and the artsy part of them, the designs. Do you guys take these bodies, I mean, this chassis out and then replace it with another chassis? That's what I was curious. Or do you take the, the one that comes with the car and then tweak it and like the commutators and the, the springs and the, the blades and just kind of tweak it like I did on one of them. That's when I found out that my big fat fingers can't pick up a spring and put it back in the little hole. So I went hunting for tweezers and found the metal tweezers. And then the metal tweezers were, um, the magnets were grabbing the metal tweezers as I was trying to pop the spring in. <laughs> it was like, well, I'm gonna get some plastic ones. This is stupid with these metal ones. Why would Brian have metal ones? I would rather have plastic. Anyway. No, I didn't get a chance to get to Detroit to check out that exhibition. I have to work here. I can't right now. I'm going at, I'm heading down to Florida to see James. We're going to go to some uh, special museums down there, but I just haven't had time to get to Detroit. I used to go to Detroit all the time, up there in the late 60s, early 70s. <laughs> go to the Grandy Ballroom to watch bands. Oh, boy. Okay, you're drifting on me. I can't drift. Okay, let's stay focused. So you can use a new Thunderjet chassis. Okay. I, that's what I'd probably do there. Tweak this one. I would. I definitely change these axles here and the rims, or put a new tra chassis on. But this this is a. I think this is going to go hot. They're all going to go hot because the bodies, on all of them, are in excellent condition. And I haven't olive oiled any of them. Don't tell Brian I olive oil these. Don't tell him I give him a little sheen with the olive oil. I just it's special olive oil from Morocco. Any other questions on this, guys? I did spin it. The Grandy Ballroom. It's not there anymore. Look at that. Any other questions on this car, guys? I'm gonna go on and move on to the next one. Oh no, I nothing worth a lot of all. Yeah, it does. But the price, get online. You guys gotta take these if you, if you have time. now. I don't have time, but I do. Uh, I do uh, cold jacking on it, and I found this price on this thing. It can go up pretty. It can go up pretty quick. And this is it. What's funny about this is when I look at the eBay's and the Amazon prices on some of their cars that are used, they're pre-owned. Is that these bodies that Brian came across from these different collectors um, were in are in excellent condition, very good condition. And one guy was saying on one of his. Uh, I think it was an auction or a sale. He goes, make sure you look at the car very closely. And then he would say, because this is missing, that's broken. And yet the prices were still high. And I'm thinking, wait a minute. If the back end here is not, it, that's good, looks nice. If there's nothing broken on this and there were posts, had his posts on this car were all cracked. I'm thinking, well, then this thing's got some value. And it's, it's not value for us to sell in a sense, but value for you to obtain it. Okay, we're not going that route, guys. We're not going the music route, okay? I'm not rabbit trailing. It takes up too much time. And those are old, those are bands that were okay, but I saw the real classics, okay? I saw the, the, the classics, Cream. I saw Jeff Beck. I saw the Yardbirds. I saw the Kings, okay? Real bands that played real music. <laughs> Let's see, what else was it? What? <laughs> I just gotta be careful here. Oh my gosh. The Yardbirds, Jeff Beck. Um, 
Joe Cocker with came in one night. They, they, and they'd be like three or four of these acts all, all in one night. That's what's so, so they were big stars. They were just just coming along. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, did you? Jimmy Bean, bro. <laughs> did you play up there? Oh, boy. Don't, okay, guys, you're, you're, I'm drifting. Got to put this back. So that is the Ferrari 250. 1368 on page 28 on the beers. Did you guys do we even look at that picture? 28. Got to watch out here. There she is. Right there. Right there. There it is. Right there. That's a nice one. And it, that's why it shows the back section there has the black here and the black there. That's that's all on there. I just can't see the, the gas thing in the back. Okay. Yeah. Let's put that one down. We're going to put that one to rest. That's the first thing I'd do probably is check that out. But it shouldn't take away from the value of the overall vehicle. Because it's just in great condition. All right. <sighs> it's amazing. It's funny how couch potatoes and how authoritative they, they can become, and yet you don't see them doing this. All right. That's, there we, that's why I cold check. I do it. I don't just talk it. <laughs> right, gang? I have my good club members. They receive their special packages from me, my friends. All right, this one is another classic. These are all classics for some reason this week. Okay, I can't, I can't read this stuff, talk music, and try to do this and keep everybody happy with keeping the party going, okay? Oh, wow, you did open up with some good bands. I was in a band. We almost opened up for MC5, but I was I think I was too young at the time to get into the facility age-wise, so we had to cancel our gig. Okay, thank you, Kevin. Yeah, I think I was a year younger there. They would allow me in, so we had to cancel our gig opening up for, I think it was MC5. It wasn't the Trogs. I thought it was the Trogs, but it was the MC5. Okay, let's move on. Page 97. This is another classic. Are you guys ready? These are... This one has is intriguing. This is the Ferrari Can-Am. All right? The Can-Am 612. No, oh, All right, guys. I got to keep moving here. Page 97, the Ferrari Can-Am 612. If you want to converse with me, you can go to my email. <laughs> How's that? <laughs> Let's see. Ferrari Can-Am 612, 1971 to 1974. This is a 1751 body. I checked all that out. I did that. This baby's hot overbuilt, but you're not buying it. You Don't buy slot cars overbuilt, all right? It's in red, yes. Red and white with the number 15. Back then, 22 years ago, I had a four rating with the rest of those cars. Now, a couple of curious things here. These cars came with, and I'll, let me go to the page here, 97, or, yeah, 97. Just for clarification's sake, that way if you guys don't have this book, which I do, it's a good book, but ours, the Greenberg's better, is that's the one we're looking at, the 15. Notice the spoilers. They came with the spoiler and without the spoiler. And it became, it seemed that these became more rare. Or wings, we'll call it the wing. All right, that's right, the wing. With or without wings, yes, Ted. And it seems that, I think it was this one that said that um, it was more rare. Yeah, it came first with, and then it came, first it came with them, the wing, and then it came later without. So there was more interest in getting rid of the wing. And that's what's become more rare with this one, or people wanting more of this one. 
but there it is. <clears throat> non-magnet traction. Non-magnet traction. <clears throat> There's the bottom base. But let me, I just want to show you the car first. Look at the back end. In excellent condition. Everything is excellent condition. All the pipes are there. This is beautiful. Is, is that blurry? Too blurry? <clears throat> this is chrome-plated engine behind the, what's called a, that's what I think. I think exactly, Richard. Check out, that's a bell helmet. Look at his face mask, still in excellent condition. The pipes are all there in excellent condition. Correct, no nicks. Look at that, look at the back. It's just gorgeous. The sections here and here, and the 15, the, the, whoever took care of this, the, the engines are well, are, are, have been run. They've been used, okay? They've been used. Very clean, Ted, I agree. I found this out when I went on the inside. There's the back end. I just want to show the back again. All the parts are there. Everything is there. This is what's fascinating, too, that as you read more, as you, as you, you no roll bar. No, there's no roll bar with this. Right, James? Yeah, James Murray's there. Hey, James. Mentioned you earlier in the show. Don't know if you picked up or came along. But um, I did a little bit more of the uh, cold jacking, and I found out... <laughs> I just love the grid. I found out that this was the first... This is what makes this kind of unique. The first AFX car to be released. That's what it says. Question? I'm heading out now. Okay, don't. There's a tool already? I got a hustle. Yeah. All right. I'll let Ryan know. Thanks, right. buddy. See you later. Hope yeah. things go well. See you tomorrow. This is the first AFX car to be released. Now, I must be mentioning with the body and then the non-magnet traction. So, if you're interested in history and firsts, I got that information. First AFX car to be released. This is it. Check that out, Ted, if I'm mistaken, but that's what it says. Look at that. This thing, this thing is nice. When I, when I heard saw that, I went, ooh, interesting. And then I saw everything's there. And uh, I was like, oh, this is this is getting better. Ah, shoot. Yeah, it's getting sweet. I mean, drop it on the floor. I just don't have the facility here to um, hi, James. I mentioned you earlier for some reason. I can't remember what I was talking about. What what was going on? Well, I can't delay here. I gotta move along, guys. I'm sorry I'm taking up too much of your time. I know you have other things you need to do, like clean gutters, uh, mow, uh, maybe laundry, wash dishes. I don't know, but I I gotta I'll move along here. So it's on page 97. 97. Thank you, Robert. Gosh, Robert said something nice. Something. <laughs> something. All right. This is it. And look at that. It's just, Ted, Ted mentioned it. It is clean, no damage. This is one to, this is one to hop on if you like this style, if you like to race this. Let me see. I cleared my dance on <laughs> my part. Okay, Ke all right, Kevin. I'll keep her, I'll keep it going for you. Let's see if I can spin this. It's, ah, this, oh, it got to kill me. The battery's probably old. It was spinning good earlier. All right, well, on the track, I had it, and I think the juice on the track is the one that gives it a little bit of oomph. And, of course, it's not wanting to do anything. Figures. Figures. Come on, it was just, it just started. You guys know more about these things than I do. Huh. Well, it's the AFX. Have one great can handling car. Well, that's funny. That just doesn't want to kick in. Dead battery? I think so. I think my battery is filing kapuzzi. And believe me, in this whole store, there is not a 9-volt battery. In this whole store. A nine, you got a 9-volt battery on you? Now he... I don't need him now. Oh, but you said you needed him. I brought Who's, him. Who came down? I, I, so everybody, we just got an updated... Ethernet stuff. Oh, that's right. So that... if if there if there's internet, inter, any internet issues, too bad. Brand new system, so it's impossible. So our our 
our uh, stream tomorrow should be perfect. Yep, perfect. Should be if perfect. If it isn't, then it's not our fault. If it isn't, it's not our fault. We have the latest and greatest equipment. We have the latest and greatest equipment. Well, I except for a 9-volt battery that won't give me juice. What happened to your last 9-volt? Uh, this is the best one I could find in the whole shop down there. I had this thing going earlier. I don't know what happened. Well, anyway, it does. <laughs> I'll go down and put it on the track. But like that's what I was asking, too. A lot of these weren't starting up right away until I did some work on them. And then I got them to run again. So you guys must know what to do. Either you do some stuff in here. Yeah, I'm not going to touch it. Dead. <laughs> it's nothing. <laughs> but it... Um, a story about batteries. Tell me about it. Tampa, Tampa, East Florida. This is just okay. What, the last thing I wanted to show you guys with this, okay? Because I did some more. Um, I did. Some, oh yeah, definitely a sharp car. I'm Hello? I'm fascinated by it. I did some more uh, cold jacking. Yeah. <laughs> I hope you guys don't mind this picture. Some of you actually requested me to sign these, and I have been. I put your name up here. I say. Slot car on or something, bro. I'll say slot car on, bro, and then I'll put down here, um, cold jack, um, blah blah blah. No, Kevin, I got the gloves. You don't need to send the uh, batteries. I'll get them for you. But guess what, guys? I checked this out. I kept cold jacking, and look what I found. You get because this pricing stuff's ridiculous. And you guys think we're doing auctions to try to make a fortune? Not really. I'm just trying to make enough money so I can retire. But no, <laughs> a fortune is that this car I got like it's all this sold already for this price. Now I know that's a Canadian price. That's the Canadian price and that's the American price. But it sold up there. It's big up in Canada for some reason. I noticed that on eBay and uh, Amazon this is a this is a All right, all right. I got you over here. Um intriguing car up there, I guess. But this is it. And this one that has a sticker on it, so it's, uh, it's already got crud on it. This from? one's clean as a whistle. Some of these cars, they had damages, the pipes. This, now, this pipes, they were all there, and they had, the helmet was there. But I'm thinking, that's fascinating. They must have put a new AFX body on that. That is a Sears Super Traction? That's a Sears Super Traction? Well, it's still not done. Because there's the... Uh, let me yeah, flick this upside this way. Go this way. Okay. Check that out. There it is. Oh, because it's sold. Oh, it's sold because of the, that sticker? Oh. No, not yet. I just can't. I just have to tell myself no until I. What do you mean, an unusual version? Yeah. What, what, what's unusual? What's I, unusual I about the version? Being the sticker, anymore. only the even sticker it made it unusual? Itself. I mean, this is identical AFX chassis. I just can't. I've got too it many, will have weight in the chassis. Too many fires well, look, it's, it's, it's identical. Or too many, I mean, how, how identical? And then all this is, is, you mean the one little sticker? Give me a break. I'll buy a sticker and make one. Can't turn this, this, this way. Has a special weight around yeah, the front yeah. axle on this one. You're saying special weight on the front axle. Now there's two little there's two but there's two bars in there. Would that add extra weight? It's not just the. Is that? Look at that extra weight. Is that? I don't want to commit huh? to anything yet. I just don't huh? know where, what things are going to be doing. Is that extra weight on that axle there? Can anybody see it? Is this close enough or does that get blurry? Okay, <laughs> it becomes one, right? Any special weights on there? Okay, uh, I'll try to take a look at that, okay? Oh, on the front top? You guys are slot car enthusiasts. You know slot cars. So you're saying this value of this is not as high in value as the picture. Oh, for oh no. No weight. Okay, Richard says there's no weight there. 
All right. No weight on yours, Tim. Okay. Got it. No weight on mine. All right. So that devalues it, do you think? All right. Perfect. Thank you. Well, it doesn't devalue it. This thing is still in great shape. The other side. What do you mean the yeah, other side? Okay, yeah. What do you mean the other side? No way. The All other right, side? It's supposed to be in the front. Go to the chassis page on the book. It shows. Oh, great. Oh, these guys got me chasing. Uh, what page is that? 97? No, that's not the one. I got the wrong... Oh, there it is. Yeah, it doesn't have a sticker on that one. Do you say there's another page that has the sticker? What page is that? True. Yeah, that's why the pricing, I don't, you know, I just found it fascinating. That, but that's neat to know that that was a special edition then that came out. I gotcha. Fascinating. And this, I think goes in here and it does need some I think the back wheels needs a couple a lot of these uh, had back wheels okay I had this thing go in easily last time back on and then I learned a little trick one of you guys taught me a little trick on how to put these back on Let's see if I can do it I won't go there now. Of course, my fat fingers. How did they, how did you guys do that to me before? I got that to pop on. Oh, shoot. Figures. Guys tell me to get it off, then I can't get it back on. That's there. I need better lighting. And then I take this and just, whoop, there she goes. That's it, went the opposite direction. Guys, show me how to take a little screw driver and pop it on. Can't do the battery test, my battery's shot. So, you're not interested anyway. Yep. <laughs> Shot. All right. There we go. That's that one. So, we found out this was a special edition. That's why I was at 89 something, or 116 in Canada and 89.99, 90 bucks down here. All right. But still, this is a sweetheart, and this is clean as a whistle. You know, get that thing running. Get the battery, check that out. This is, I think so, Ted. It's a good, good little, good little uh, piece. Let's go to another one. Cust this is truly customized, and the female might have more of an interest in this driver because it's got purple. Purple seems to be a big color with the ladies right now. And this is the famous. Pinto, this is the, yes, you've got it right, the Pinto Funny Car, 1972 to 1974, page 102. Yeah, Ted's the Pinto. I had a Pinto, not like this, wasn't this long, but I had a little black and white Pinto. Drove it back and forth to Maryland, Hollywood, Maryland, helped work with my grandfather and uh, keep up his place. That was a, I remember, oh, what, what turnpike was that? The muffler fell off. <laughs> God, it was a mess. Pulled into the pay of the toll. It was so loud. They were all, everybody was laughing because the car was so loud. Okay. This is the Pinto Funny Car, 1972 to 74. Customized, but it's customized. Ladies, check that purple out, though. Purple seems to be a big color. With, uh, and it's, uh, let's see, purple and black. It has a three to five rating. because It's customized, but the overall Pinto Funny Car is at a three to five rating within themselves of Funny Cars. I wouldn't know where to put this because it's a custom version. But it is, the, the number is a 1761. The body is 1761, okay? Non-magnet traction. 
So that's what this is set up for. Uh, the glare is because of the, the enamel sheen on it. It is a nice color scheme, I'll have to admit. I'm not a big fan of purple. It can be over, you know, over abused. And this is not the Vikings purple. It's a, kind of a different uh, purple. But um, this is intriguing because, again, being customized and used, check out the work on it. Pinto here that was painted inside there. And then the glass. Look at the glass on that. Nice job with the glass. And then I'm going to spin it around. Uh, you know what? I didn't open this up. Let me spin this around. Can you see the original color on the inside body? This is the... Oh, that's interesting. It's the same color as the outside. So maybe it was... The, oh, my gosh. There. There's the inside. Let me do something here. Let, okay, let me... I'll come back to that in a minute. But let me cover my points here that I had worked on because which i found a fascination with this this car and i got more stuff piled up here as i was cold checking check the back here this bar here i'll ch i'll open that up it's got wheelie bars correct these are the two wheelie bars yes you're right i checked on this and usually they'll be missing that's the wheelie bar here i think and a wheelie bar there usually they're missing or broken these have both of them intact. Let me get to that in a second, but let me just clarify with the wheelie bars. Yeah, they're separate chrome plated piece and it's usually either missing or broken, but both of them are here. They're both on there. Check out that. Look at that. And then the Pinto, the Pinto engraved there, the cut in, which is on the normal ones. Gorgeous size. Our, um, oh, I forgot what I was going to say. Side. Come around. The piping on this, on here. Okay, Ron Wilson just sent me something. Tim, how's it going, Ryan? How's it going, Tim? I just sent you a picture of the Sears Supercar chassis. It's on eBay right now. Yes, we found that out. They were talking about that with the sticker. Look at that size. And because of the length, what did they have to do? Because of the length, what did they what do they do with the which I found out. And we talked about I think this before with the length. Whoops. The length of that is gorgeous. But the uh, the front axles are mounted to the body. So these parts right here, the front axles will always be mounted to the body because of the length of these particular vehicles. This is axis. I'm just not a purple guy, but the design and the idea of it. And I did take it for a spin. <laughs> I wanted to see how it flies. It hit flew. This thing takes off pretty good. It's pretty radical. Yeah, Rob. But it flew. Now, it fishtailed a couple of times on me, so I had to back off and be cautious on how I was driving it. Because you know me, I don't know slot cars. I don't like slot cars. I don't buy slot cars, but I can drive a slot car. <laughs> but it was fishtailing a couple of times. I had to back off. But, oh, it, could, it, it cruises. I was surprised. So that's why... And I would like to get to see. I haven't changed any of these tires, and these are pretty bad looking tires. And they are big. Yeah, these are big tires. And I'd like to try them with some brand new ones and just see how maybe the fishtailing wouldn't have happened, or maybe the wheel wells. I I didn't see them cut or shaved, but I will. Uh, I can't get this. Can I? Oh, guys, you guys. Let me see if I can do this with. Um, Oh boy. Uh oh. I wish you guys wouldn't have me do this. Because you know me. Alright, here's 
There it is off. Clean as a whistle. Yeah, it looks like it might have been, um, I'd say more shaved than cut, but there's there's the inside of it. When I say shaved, I always think of it, they go at an angle. Oh, okay, I see, Ron. Thanks. I'd like to see that. Okay, gotcha. He sent a picture that shows the weight in the front of those Sears cars. That's what the image he sent. On my email? Yeah, I think so. I'll, I'll pull that up right now. Who's File. That's good. Overbuilt. That's an interesting word. Who sent it? That was Ron Wilson. He said he sent that. It was... Um, oh, that's your buddy. Shows the weight in the front of the car. And, that's your buddy. Although I got a bunch of buddies. There's only a few that aren't my buddies. There, there's a large collection of these guys that are my buddies. <laughs> <They're> my, <laughs> so there's the close-up. So you've been, they've been cut. They've been cut. Can't. I'm trying to look at it myself. Boy, that looks nice in there. And there's the color too. There's the inside color, guys. It's clean. All right. Be some. I'll be. I'll be your buddy. <laughs> oh. Look at that, even the post, everything, this is gorgeous. It's better than I thought. I you guys actually got me to open it up. Yes, they have been cut. Look at that, look at these things. Yeah, but these are, so what? I don't care if the wheel has been cut. It's customized. That's what some, some of you people, ladies, especially the purple, Ted doesn't like it, it's been cut. I don't know, James. I Everybody's got their preference. What are you gonna do? And then they say, well, it's not the original. It's not this, not that, you know what? What are you gonna do? It's how it runs, right? Look at that. And everything's intact. Everything is intact. Nothing's busted. Looks good, I agree. Where's that picture? Oh, wow. It's just a different configuration, completely. That's interesting. There's there's the weight of that one we'd looked at way earlier. There's the picture of with it weighted. <laughs> Better go have a cigarette, Robert. <laughs> there's a picture of it weighted. All the stuff in the front. All that, none of that was on the uh, the one I, we showed. That's fascinating. So now I know what weighted means. See, I, you guys are, I, I, I hunt, I look, you know, I do what I'm supposed to do and <laughs> you guys are very, very thoughtful. When I'm in my nursing home, I'm hoping you come and visit me and. <sighs> so we need a good clean inside. This, this is actually a gorgeous car. If you like purple. Oh, somebody added the Phillips screw, though? Okay, don't know anything about the screw. Oh, the Dremel? Okay. Well, whoever did it did a good job, I'll tell you that. There you go, guys. Again, that is a customized from those pictures that I was looking at earlier. It's the Pinto Funny Car. It's funny too because the pinto I had didn't have it wasn't that long. No, Adam, you're not going to be able to allow it in. There, I've got a couple of names. There's a sheet that'll have "Do Not Allow." So whether it's next week or a year from now, I have a sheet of people "Do Not Allow." And who is that? Uh, <laughs> no, I just was sharing. Adam said he'd come and visit, but I, I, but I have, I had to clarify for him. No, Adam's always invited. Uh, Why not, would Adam not be invited? Not, not where I'm going. Oh. You're here for... Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> Who brought up that they noticed that right away, that the, um, the roll bars are still there? That's pretty good cold checking, too. Look at that. I did it. I got it back in. Boy, I'm getting better at this. Needs new wheels though. This thing's this thing does fly. So think of that with the auction coming up. Oh, the little, little 
Now, the little pin here looks a little cracked. Is that bad or good? See the little pin right there, the little guide pin? Now, underneath it has the guide blade, but this has the pin. It has a little crack there. I just moved it. See that? Is that bad? Or is that all right? Or can you just easily replace that? Well, this looks clean, too. Did I try spinning this one? I don't remember. This battery is probably, though, just... Ooh, wait a minute. I put it upside down. Yeah, this battery has def definitely lost its um. Yeah, working on that one? Yeah, it worked on that one. Why not the other one? Let me go back and see if this the juice is back. <laughs> that can be replaced cheaply. Let me see. Maybe the, print off, no, it might be the chassis might just needs a yeah, print it off. I showed it to them. Oh, did they like it? Oh, they loved it. No, they did. Can hardly see it, but they loved it. Sure, now, why is that? That worked on the track. That can be fixed though, too, correct, guys? That's weird. Why does it do it sometimes? Oh, I don't have time for this. You guys, my wife. you guys got me into this whole mess. Okay, I'm putting this away, but this is one that's going to be auctioned off tomorrow night. Our auction starts at 6. We will be starting at 6. We're going to roll it. We're going to get it all done within between 6 and 7 with not without any interruptions, right? Right, Ryan? That's, uh, wait, what's no interruptions? No interruptions. Tomorrow night we start at 6 with the auction, 6 oh, to yeah, 7. Oh, yeah, it's just you and me. Okay, nobody else. We'll kick everybody else out. All right. <laughs> I mean, they, they can race quietly behind us, but no. Correct. You're racing, but no interfering no or dragging us down. down no. Yes, it must be a dead in, in, engine. Is that all right, though? Can, you guys can switch engines works, out. But the engine works. Yeah, the engine works. I put it on the track. Yeah, it's just dead when it uses the battery. Oh, with just the battery. Yeah, okay. Which is weird. All right. All right, you guys, you guys know your slot cars. Don't forget, tomorrow night between 6 and 7 is the auction, and 7 to 8 is the uh, race. And I think we might be having a special race at the end because I think what's happening is they're going to allow me back on the track, and it looks like they're going to stick me with a police car, and I'm going to be racing against Ryan. It's a one-on-one -on -one special race with the General Lee. So I think it's the General Lee and the police car. That's Pittsburgh. They will not leave a message. They just keep calling. I don't know how the pool is doing, Adam. I don't know what the pool is. I think it's 10 to 1 on me winning. Uh, the pool, uh, I think they people are still thinking I'm going to win. So they got this pool going in Vegas, but I don't know. Ted, Ted says, don't run the track. Ted, that's what slot cars are meant to do. They're meant, Ted, I'm going to be very clear oh, with this. He's probably just missed. They're meant to run. You, he's probably misspoke. It's what happened? Ford J car, not G. Apparently you were saying G. Correct. I corrected that. Oh. Yeah, way back. Yeah, we, we corrected that at the beginning of the show. <laughs> Don't worry. Oh. Hey, thank you. Yeah, I was saying 4G. I meant 4J. Uh, Good guys. We got that way back at the beginning. Some of these guys need help. Run them. That's right, Kevin. Ted says don't run the General Lee. Well, why do you have a slot car? Why do you buy a car? Why eat then? Why buy food? Why buy a steak if you're not going to eat it? You going to save it? We're going to do We're one. We're running it. We're going to do one one-on-one -on -one race. That's Ooh. it. I, they stuck me with that one. I'm supposed to be, I haven't had any training practice, but I get the police car. And he gets the General Lee. The one I've always wanted. And that's the big, big, that's the ending tomorrow night. Big race ending. One race. They're all up for it. They're all up for it. They all want to see the race. I'll probably, the pool that we have going right now in Veggie is that he's going to take the victory, but I'm going to do my best. I haven't raced in a while, so I'm going to be pretty cold. I'm going to practice. You're going to practice lanes. too? Well, what I gotta, about me? I got to. It's going to be exciting. But the pool is going about 10 1 right now. Can you so. believe General Lee? General Lee, buddy. Okay, no. Ted says, no, slot cars are meant to be purchased by old men for outrageous prices to put on a shelf to look at. <laughs> uh, how many laps are we doing? James Murray wants to know how many laps. Ten, right? 
10 laps. It'll be a 10 lapper. Focus, Timbo. Oh. Uh oh. A cylinder burn car fall. Uh oh. Uh oh. We'll see. My money's on Tim. I don't know, Bob. I haven't raced in a long time. They, they banned me from the track because I was. <laughs> they couldn't keep up. Seven wins in a row. All right. And now the producer's complaining. Can you believe this? The producer last week complained that I'm, that as a commentator now, they want to take me off of there because they say I, I drag the races out. I, I, I drag races out and yet we race. Now this one's working. Let me see if that's got more juice in. He, he says I, I take too much time with commentary. No, he wants to see races that. faster. Yes, you did. No, I, it was you said I drag it out. No, I said that there could be a little bit. No, I we did. Quicker. We do over 15 to 20 races. We do five of the magnetless. We do five of the G plus. We do five of the four gear and we do five of the Thunder Jet. Brian, we never get that much in with you guys talking. Oh I can't believe it. So they want me to retire as a commentator. We're going to fire him. Practice to practice to meditate Breslow. <laughs> They have tried to, if Tim win, Mandy makes some dinner. Okay, that's really, okay, that's how fat, that's how, oh boy, I'm really losing it. I'm taking his battery charge, his battery, and I'm hooking it up to the other battery, thinking this is the car. <laughs> this is bad. That's, oh my, I almost that's, spit out my coffee that's bad. All over. That's bad, bad. Holy oh God. my gosh. There we go. There we go. It's the battery. Okay, here's this one. I'm spinning it for the, whoever likes to have these fun. There we go. Oh, my gosh. Forget that battery. I'm tossing it out. That baby's... Oh, this baby's cooking. So it's the battery. Oh, that's right. James Murray came on. I told him, hey, James, I found one of these slot cars that I... Shocking. What's shocking? <laughs> I found one of these cars that I liked I, if, if I had a favorite. And this was the one right here. This one was pretty sweet. But now I, this one could be a favorite. I'd like to get this because you just guys don't think it's that special. I think it's super special. I think I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with the underdogs. I like to take underdogs and make them winners. All right, that's enough. Oh, of did you pick a car that was your favorite? Well, I picked that one, the Ferrari, but then I also like the one... The other one that everybody started knocking it because it didn't have a Sears sticker on it. it. Didn't have its little Sears sticker there, so they started knocking this one. I'm thinking oh, that's gonna be my favorite, and I might just take this baby and race it. And I'm gonna race anything I ever have. I race, Ted. I race. <laughs> oh, boy! Wouldn't that be neat to see the general just careen right off the track? Probably hit one of the posts in the shed and then smash onto the floor. Stay, stay off a bicycle, yeah. Okay, that was the page 102, which was the Pinto Funny Car. Uh, if you guys don't have that, uh, hey, let me know too. If, since you don't have the beers catalog, let me know if you want to see the car, the the car picture from the catalog. I'll be glad to do that. I just didn't want to take up time to show you the picture if you had no interest in seeing it. But it's on page uh, 102. <laughs> that one too that was kind of funny Robert I think you guys just sit there to come up with these one liners I know why we do this show you're not really interested all I think you guys like of the show is you do your, your bad one liners maybe that's because your wives don't laugh at your jokes or something I don't know but it's it's really just ridiculous here let's I'm going to show you the funny cars okay nobody asked for the picture but there they are Kevin says he's here for the cars. Awesome, Kevin. Awesome. Kevin and I are on the same track. Same track. <laughs> Don't forget, tomorrow night. Big night at the Wayne City Slot Car Speedway. They're cleaning all the debris off from the big storm we had last week, and things are going to be hot and uh, really humid yesterday. It was up to 100. 
but we're all set for the big race. Big vendors are poured in right now, but okay, let's go on to the next one, which I did some. Uh... <laughs> oh gosh, you guys are terrible. All right, let's go on to this one. Page ninety-nine, back to ninety-nine, and this again is the Porsche five ten K. Porsche 510K Can-Am, and baby, this one is a sweetheart. In fact, if I didn't like the other two, I'd probably pick this as my favorite. <sighs> I should have said that. This, there's just something about it. I don't know if it's the color, if it's the shape, if it's the form. It's in excellent condition. This is supercharged. This is supercharged. It's the Porsche 510K Can-Am. The body number is a 1786. Ted's following up on this. He checks on everything I talk about. It's the non-magnet traction, but this has a magnet traction chassis. This originally was set up for a non-magnet traction chassis, but this has a magnet traction. So just for clarification there, I think it's kind of cool that I finally learned something there. I finally am learning a little bit more progressively um i have to maybe i want the facts i just don't want opinions i want facts because i am the slot car stalker you know what's coming don't you <laughs> oh, i hope i'm not boring these guys this is the car and then and in the book it's beautiful in the book i'll show you a picture in the book let's just go to the book it's in there page 99 just to give you a clarification there it is right there right there it's got everything on it. the number six it's got the labels that's gonna look sweet on my track <laughs> well i don't know buddy I, I wish i could outbid you no just kidding i'm not allowed to i don't know slot cars i don't buy slot cars i don't bell helmet Got the bell helmet. Check out that bell helmet. It's gorgeous condition. You guys are going too fast. Look at that helmet. Is that is that blurred? Did that go blur? You know what I should have you do is look at the images or the screen. You should be screening this. Can you show 124th cars, please? Thanks. What's a 124th car? We don't have any. We don't have any. We're, this is only HO, Jack. This is HO. Sorry. This is an HO stream, HO show, HO auction, HO racing. We're getting into 132nd, but we don't have 124s. Kevin, we're not bidding. This is not. It's tomorrow night, 6 to 7. Oh, tell me about it, Moronic. I love it. Look at. Okay, let me get. You guys get me off track because I have to read this because Ryan doesn't help me. He doesn't help read. He doesn't give me updates. Yes, James, I do, because they're funny. My jokes are funny, James. I have to be an actor. You think I really want to be doing this, James? I got other things I'd rather be doing, so I have to act. Oh. Okay, let's get Bell Helmet. Chrome-plated roll bar, and it's intact. Chrome-plated roll bar, and it is intact, all right? Let me just clarify, guys. This is a Primo vehicle. Primo. Look at the front. Remember what we talked about? The air dam? Look at that. Or air dam. I don't know. D-A-M. Look at that. Intact. It's not broken. It's not broken. This baby jub jub is not fragile. This is metal. Gold plated. No, just kidding. It's plastic. But it's intact. Look at that. That is the air dam right here. And usually this whole section here can be broken. Um, split. Cracked. These are paper stickers. Check that paper stickers there. On the spoiler, on the side, there's the six. Poor six, and on the spoiler back there. That's the spoiler area. And look at the roll bars, everything. Are you seeing this, Ryan, on your screen? Is it? Yeah, it looks good. It's not, okay, now, if I, I'm getting closer. Is that blurred? <clears throat> Is that a blurred? No, I don't. Because it's blurred on the tablet. I like to get in closer, but I never know if it's blurred. It's as clear as it can be. Okay. 
Look at that. I mean, it doesn't go fuzzy when I came in close. Right. All right. Look at that. That is just in excellent condition. Nothing missing, nothing broken. Okay, Jeff, that's not going to be that price. I don't think so. That's impossible, Jeff. Looks fine to me, too. All right, well, let me know, guys, if it goes blurry, if I get too close. But I just want to show you how this is really a sweet look. And I love the color, too. It's probably my kind of stock color, the yellow, red, and blue. Look at that. And the driver, you can just see him in there smiling. Can you see him smiling? Just probably had a leave of, oh, cigar, probably a 550, 5 inch, 50 ring size, Nicaraguan handmade. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, James. <laughs> oh, I just I, this thing is. I just like looking at it. It just looks cool, and to see it flying around the track, um, it just. Uh... Oh boy, oh boy, this battery must be in good condition. I get some new wheels on this one. And she'd be running all the time. I'd be taking this to all my races. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Did that? Can you hear that, guys? Is that all right? Thanks, Chris. <laughs> he just got... Chris. You're supposed to be coming. I'm trying to give a uh, an overview of these vehicles because we don't have time. Brian forces us to move quickly, and we never seem to do. We always roll over race night time seven. So we're trying to get things clarified now yes they were they were spinning so fast and we try to go over these but look at the front everything is just in excellent condition oh you did you did james you're just too kind i think i might watch the mission tonight with let's see de niro and uh what's the other guy's name uh lee and Lee and Neeson, he was, that was when he was really young. He just started out in films. And then, um, Jaffe, who was, the, who was the star, though, of the movie? Anyway, why am I drifting? Welcome. Hello. First time? Oh, no. Oh, then hang out. You're on your own. All right. Customers come in. I always ask them, the first time, the first time I give them a little tour, because they... Sometimes just stay in the one room thinking the other rooms are a stock room. But it's just, everything's open. Everything. I, isn't that a pretty looking vehicle, though? It's pretty looking. Using the word, the casual word, pretty. But I think it's just sharp looking. Look at that. Rear, maybe you should put that. Oh, that's Robert talking. I'm not going to. <laughs> uh oh no I'm replying to a comment that this could be on the high seller I doubt it what this could be a high seller or the other one yeah this could be a high seller yeah I agree That's the, I, I stopped looking at prices because some of you were mentioning it before I think Super Dave and some others that either they're on auction who knows if they sold if they did sell um, What's what was unique about that particular one but even the one without the, um, what was the one with the Sears thing? Even the one with this one, that talked about the Sears sticker. I found that they said there were broken parts. They were, the, the area here was either chip broken or they're just different. And these cars that we have are in great shape. I was surprised. I'm more and more surprised as I've been going through this and doing what I'm supposed to do and do what I'm paid to do since I don't like doing what I'm doing. But since I do this, is that we got a good body of cars that are in good shape. All right, let's put this baby down. Anybody have any more questions about these? That's what it, I agree, Kevin. And it runs good. No questions? Give you another second or two. I know there's a third, what a delay. Is there a mini delay when I say something and then they hear it? Yeah. All right, I'm gonna move it too quick. Any questions? I'll put this down and move on to the last car. Yeah, I agree, Ted. I got I got my other two favorites up front, but uh, this one's a beauty, and I don't want to take this one away from anybody that's going to do a price uh, 
auction on this tomorrow night. Anything in particular you're looking for that you need help? Yeah, just paint brushes, model paint brushes. Ryan's supposed to help me, but he's just sitting back here took a, taking a nap. I was trying to, it's hard to get anything done. <laughs> These are the only brushes you, you got? Any cheaper ones? Or no, I think those are it. Those are the we'll specifically for... Yeah, we have cheaper ones right here. Oh, you do? Yeah, Let's see? These two like white ones. Yeah, just... Right there, we got to be a few. Okay, any questions, guys? I'm going to swing a 1500 HP. Right, What's that? that one. No, that one looks like a good All right, let's put this one down. Don't hear any more comments. Right and now let's go to the last one. The last one. Parker, so don't you know forget, Ted, give me a minute when you give me the list, Ted, of how I'm going to auction these. Don't throw it at me right in the, in the middle Dakota of the Dakota left, sentence. right? And I got to try to write all that down. What? Dakota left, right? Yes, I, I forgot to tell you. He's left it exactly to. Perfect. Timmy, you can move on. Thank you, Rob. <laughs> I'd like to move out. I mean, I'd like to. I would just shut this down. If you guys have no interest in this, I'm, I parked the car already. Now, everybody, see? Every, you're 69? Well, let's, then, I'm sorry. Okay, let's see. Here, get that and this and that. Let's see. And you're 69? You really? look like you're 80. Look Where's your picture? That is. Got to lay off those smokes, Jack. Look at that, it came right up. Let's hey, see, page 119. This is the last one, and this is another dilly. Dilly doozy. It's a doozy dilly. You're gonna just you're gonna go nuts when you see this one. I took like I said, every one of these the bodies have been just in perfect shape. And this is the famous page 119 in the beers catalog. Don't forget the beers catalog. And let me do a little plug here again. I'm just gonna let you guys know. Greenbergs, we sell them right now. We're gonna have a, we have a pre-order going on. Nineteen ninety-nine. We have ten of them. We put on. We put up for pre-order. These are running in Canada over a hundred dollars U.S. dollars ninety-nine, and on Amazon there is a used, a used. You don't believe me. Some of you don't believe me. Well, you know what? I do what I do best. I cold jacked. <laughs> All right, I cold jacked for these who just jumped on. There's Cold Jack right there. 81 bucks for a used copy. $81 for a used copy. But here at ProTickerToys.com, you can get it for $19.99, brand new. Too much stuff here. I gotta get this stuff organized. Brand new, Greenberg's Guide to Aurora Slot Cars. And there's a lot, of, a lot of neat stuff in here. No, there is not a box for this. There was a box, but it wasn't the right box. And I'm going to go back and check. I'm going to check, um, Ted. Just, just hang in there. I can go to. I do have a box. I can put it in, but I don't have the box for the Lola. Hmm. There, the well, box yeah, that was being used that, so was being used minutes. for the in, the was an incorrect car, the 1382, right. the Ford J, as in Jeremiah was the box. In other words, somebody yeah, misboxed it or yep, wasn't yep, thinking, yeah, I can put, but used yeah, this box see, to put the Lola in. Tomorrow, put I'm putting it in this box because this box is for this X. specific car. That's and that's a 1382, and that's a 1382. But I will look around to see if there's a box for it. If not, I have another box I'm gonna put some stuff in. And here Ooh, it right is. There, found it. Thank this you. is it, guys. Look at that. The famous Lola. That T. is twenty eight seventy six. That's right, Robert. Somebody doesn't mean somebody that. is gonna buy it. But somebody does. <laughs> All right. Page one hundred and nineteen. 1931 G plus. I have a couple of questions on this one. You guys can help me out. It's 1731 G plus yellow red number seven in the book. All right. Coming in again, okay. But the actual body number on this one is a 1737. I mean, hopefully I said that right. Did you tell him the story? Are you fixing the one? Uh, yeah, no, I didn't tell him. I fixed one of the engines. 
tore it apart and put it back together and fixed so it. I, we were working yesterday. He's supposed to be shipping <sighs> stuff. We're so far behind. Ah, we're not behind at all. And he, well, a little bit. And he's sitting there taking these slot cars apart and trying to fix them for you guys. So you guys better appreciate Tim, the cold check of slot cars, has been diving in deep and learning these cars. Okay, first of all, we're job. not we're not behind. I've been. I have to call Jose sometime too. When am I going to call Jose? I wasn't behind. Well, let's. I'm not behind. If it's behind, because you guys aren't helping. Oh. You're on the phone all the time or just chit chat. Here's the. This is what's curious. You guys can help me out because you guys are the. You know, slot cars. Here's the Lola T330. This is the one we're looking at. It okay? We're gonna look at it again. Number seven. I'm gonna spend a little time on this. So just calm your chops. There it is. That's the vehicle right there. All right. And it says it's the. 1731. The body is supposed to be a 1731 for this one. And Ted, you can correct me. Or, you know, correct me where I'm wrong, where I'm not, where I'm right. For the G Plus. Okay, let me take this slow. I'm not gonna rush this. This has a G Plus engine underneath. Okay, I don't care what versions you need, Ted. This is what I have. <laughs> I need info, all right? G plus. So in the book, the beer's book needs a cigar. <laughs> yeah, I'll take one. In the book, oh, brother, can we just let me finish? The Lola T33, in the book, it says a 1731 body, G plus. Yellow, red, number seven. That's what this is. Yellow, red, number seven. It's got everything on it. This baby's got everything and we'll get to that in a second. My concern is, for a moment, let you think about it, and then you can get back to me, is that the body number, I took this apart. Yes, I did. I took this off of the body very carefully. Didn't break anything. <laughs> took it off. That was a little earnest there. Took it off. Okay. And it's as the body number says 1737-001. Why is the body number different? Can somebody help me with that? Why is the body number different? Unless Beers didn't include it in his book. All right? Because he has it here as a 1731. The other number is a 1716, so that's not correct. But the 1731 G+, plus, the red-yellow, number 7, which this is, it has a 1731. But the bo I went inside, and in the body on there is printed 1737-001. So you guys can help me out on that. Maybe a print error. That's what I'm thinking, Robert. I thought that maybe maybe it's a print error in the book, correct? Could be a print error in the book, not in the body. So here we have it. Two mirrors, baby. Check out. Two mirrors, the windshield, both pipes, two exhaust pipes, chrome-plated wing, chrome-plated wing, all intact. This is gorgeous. Could be a first one made. I that's why I was curious. Look at this. This is just beautiful. I never had a five rating for all the other vehicles because that's like Ted's mentioned. He's looking for the red, blue. You know, it's common, very common. Twenty-two years ago, it's very common. But look at everything is intact. Everything is intact. This is really sweet. So if you're looking for a collectible. Yeah, the mold number is correct. The mold number does not change. It's, I think it's the book error. That's true. Remember, the Bob Beers is an expert on T-Jets and not as much on AFX. He might have just, it could be a printer error. I mean, it's happening. Right? I got books that have printer errors in it. So that's a good, I, I, would, I would agree with that. This, when I look at this, though, and the more I looked at it, now the wheels are shot. They're they're pretty, they need some new wheels. They're all blown out, or not blown out, but rough. And uh, look at that. Look at the back in there. Look at that. I mean, it's all just gorgeous. What a collector for anybody. Look at the, the blower on there. The helmet, the hands. Inside the uh, cockpit. Is that blurry? 
can't tell if that's blurry or not. That look pretty good. Hold on to the wheel. Look at the finger and the thumb. Oh my gosh, the hand. Spin it over. That's Kevin. Oh, they didn't cancel because of the heat. Oh. Okay, wait a minute. Told you we were grilling out for there. Okay, I'm not grilling. Okay, guys, I have my own. Oh, I, I'm going to be having lasagna. I don't care what you guys do. You can do what you want. I don't grill. I, I'm not a big griller. Like, I'm not a big steaker. I mean, it's no Brian. It's like, woo. But I just, at my age, steak is okay. It's fine. I mean, I've had so many different cuisines around the planet. I just, it's not a big deal. But him and his steak, he just thinks it's the end of the world. Anyway. Oh, Ryan's grilling last of the And he, oh, okay. I'm going to be having the design. You guys can do what you want. Just, just let me. <laughs> you mean, I'm not mean. Oh, brother. Look at that. I just like this. Oh, you bring your broccoli salad? Now I'll have some broccoli salad on the side. I have my kale salad ready, but if you're bringing broccoli salad, I'll have some of that with my lasagna. Oh. I thought I was going to have a peaceful week this week, and all of it's just been kids and Ryan all week, and I just can't handle much more of it. I just... <laughs> it's just... Okay, so if somebody wants me to spin this. Let's see if it spins. I did run it on the track. It didn't work. No. And it died. It died. It's dead. You guys like to say it's dead. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, this is the one where I spin. I was going to ask you guys. I spin the wheel, and it, and I feel a... You can't hear it, but a, like a, ju a jerk. It, it doesn't smoothly spin. It has a... Yes, I agree, Ted. I gotta, I gotta retire before I expire. But see how you feel that? There's like, it feels like a joint right there. I can feel a little, little joint, mm, 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 right in there. So I was wondering what was going on. I tr was gonna take it apart and look at it, but I was afraid I'd break it. It does. It when I put it on the track, it it slightly goes. New brushes. Oh, the new... You mean the brushes themselves. Yeah, well, she's not doing anything. Yeah, she, but she... On the track, she would just... <laughs> but when I spin it like that... I wish I could... You could uh, hear it. Watch it jerk. See, it doesn't want to spin smooth. It's like jams... Jams... Let's see if that's going that way. Yeah. There. So I wasn't sure what it might be, but hey, who cares? That's why I asked you guys. You guys. Oh wait a minute. Now what happened? What I do? Come on, guys, help me out. I do. Now it's working. What happened? Look at that. Put new tires on that. It's the effect of the magnet. It's the effect of the magnets. So the, it's, the magnets are... No, I'm not. <laughs> no, Ted, I'm not. I don't know slot cars. I don't like slot cars. I don't buy slot cars. But I can drive slot cars. <laughs> and I... And what what I do? what I do, guys? Come on, help me. None of you guys are helping me. That thing is flying now. Well, yeah, listen to that sound. And it's ripping. It wasn't working earlier. And I just kind of fiddled with it. Did you fix another one, Pulse Jack? Now they call me Tim the Slot Car Magician. Hey. It's alive. Yeah. <laughs> it's alive. Listen, look at that. I'm going up and down with this thing. I'll take the Brock and but I can't. I'm bored of steak. I'm bored. I'll take bison if you got some bison, but I just get bored. And it's and then they just talk about it. Like it's the end, they cat me out. It's boring. And they're boring. You can you can so you can an eight-year-old drive a slot car. You can <laughs> so good an eight-year-old. Yeah, but I win. I win. Right, Don? Where's Don? I need Don today. I win. Seven in a row. 
I guess you haven't been around, Rob. Seven in a row, and I went up against the best competition there was. Okay, this thing is hot now. This thing, let me put it this way now, because Robert likes to have to say that. That's not American. Ted, that's not. You know. I like bison. If something's really more American, it would really, really be fish. And I'm not a big fish fan. I'll eat fish. I love it. I like food, but I like Good. What, 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 what do we have in the event? Mandy, you're... you're, you're I, I just, <sighs> second time around. Second hand. Whatever comes out of the fridge. Second time. It's, it's even better than the first time. Your lasagna last night was excellent. Can't wait to have it tonight. It's going to even be better. <laughs> you guys. That's why you all look your age. You look older than your age. <laughs> oh, did you even read what I was ringing? No, I didn't see it, Mandy. I didn't see it. But Mandy, I can't do everything. I can't run the show. I can't take care of customers. I can't. He's always in his the mini office, you know, the bathroom. I can't do everything and read these comments and find out what you're bringing. Uh, let me back up. Right, you don't see anyone want it. Uh, man, so shut down. I can't, I don't say it anywhere, man. Garlic, chicken, twice baked potatoes, bacon set. Oh my gosh. Oh, Mandy, come on, give me a break. Garlic, chicken, twice baked potatoes, bacon, cheddar, Caesar salad, and angel hair pasta salad. You know what I mean? <laughs> he said he doesn't need any food. He's got plenty of it. He brought everything. I brought so much food this week knowing I'd be by myself. And, uh... <laughs> he says he doesn't want any, honey. I'll try it. I'll try little pieces of everything, but oh my gosh, I just wanted a break from lunacy that I have to be around all week. <laughs> I can't believe this thing's running like this now. All right. This thing's got everything. You guys are driving me crazy here. I got it. All right. Look at that. Look at that. Everything in tax. This is going to go for it. All right. Any questions? Oh, Ted's got the... Okay, hold on a minute, Ted. Just... just Cool your chops, Ted. He's gave me the, he gave me the the go list. I gotta write it down. Shoot. I Remember, need a, we want the biggest one first. We then, want the biggest one first. Then a couple of decent ones. And Why is there never a pencil or a? Pe there, there was a pen here. And then there, do you come around and move my stuff? You say that, but I Mandy. Does he come around and move your stuff when you're at the house? Honestly, I found the pad, but where's the pen? Honestly, it's your oh gosh, my legs are uh, your mental capacity is slowly draining because of your... Oh, shoot. I forgot to ask Brian. He was on shortly. We forgot to ask him about those dinosaur models. All right, let me get back to Ted here. Let me see if I can get Ted real quick. Okay, we got the Pinto first. Ooh, that's kind of cool. So you want to do the Pinto first? Then the Ferrari 250? That's pretty interesting. This is kind of then the Ford G. Ooh, oh, do the Ford with the box. Ford G. J. Ford J. I don't know why I say G. Then the Ferrari Can Am. Wow. And then the Lola three thirty. Wow. He wants to push that back. Wow. What's the last one? I wonder. The Porsche five ten. The Porsche. Yep, Tim, you were right. What? There's your signature on that black bear. Yeah. Ship it. Oh, I know. I, I, is that the brown one? Is that the brown one on the picture, right? No, it's the black one on the picture. Isn't that what they wanted? What's it say in there, though? It's the brown one. But what's it say? Is it the, oh, I know, but what's it say as far as the... Does it say brown or black? Yeah, it's black. Yeah. You should have put the note. I asked the owner if I should ship the black one. He told me just to ship it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I probably should. Okay. 
Let's see, let's see if it, let me set these up, guys. Give me a second, and then I'll present the uh, the overall picture here. Give me a minute. Give me a second. Oh, got another big feast tonight. I, I just can't tell her nothing tomorrow. And I, I. It's not a feast. There's no carbs or nothing. It's a feast. It's too much food. It's too much. You only food. have to eat what you want to eat. No, no, there's just too much. Oh my goodness. You don't seem to understand. That's why I can't go to a banquet. I'm a beggar of banquet. I die from starvation because there's just so much to... I'd have to have a wheelbarrow because <laughs> I would not... Uh, where's the Ferrari? Terrible. It's terrible. I'm not arguing. Where's the Ferrari? Oh, there's the 250. Okay, the Ferrari 250 is two, number two... No, you don't understand. I, I learned to like food, and I learned to, to make sure I clean my plate. Okay. Let's see. Got the 4J. I'm going to move that one over there. Put that one right there. And then after that is the Ferrari Can-Am. Where's the Ferrari Can-Am? I'm surprised that one went there. And then after that is the Lola. Okay, you're gonna put that one last. Yeah, I got you. Get you're almost there, guys. Then we're gonna wrap this up and we'll let you get back to what you really want to be doing: reading, studying, painting, working on models, anything but slot cars. Okay, let's see. We got um, or working if you have a job. Look at that. I mean, even the detail. Nothing's cracked on that. Here, here. Or there, it's all still intact. Everything is intact. Plus, it had a body number two under the on the uh, spoiler. Okay, here we go. This is our setup for tomorrow. Check it out, Ted. Make sure I'm correct. Oh, what's going on here? The big guy, baby. Oh, so you can, can do that one first if Ryan wants. It's, no, you tell me what. Or everybody, tell me what you want to do first. But here we go. Here's what we're thinking of doing first. Starting off with the Pinto tomorrow night, and then the Ferrari 250. Then we got the famous Ford J, Ford J car. Oh, I mean, start with like a decent one, the J car, and then, and then a big one, and then little, little big. And then... I could switch these two or these two. I guess I could do that. And then this one looks good. This one's the uh, Ferrari Can-Am. And then the Lola 330. And then last but not least, the Porsche 510, which I think is a big one. I think this is the big, big one because this is just it's gorgeous looking. Leave it like it is. Kevin just says, leave it like it is. He says, tell Ryan to go pack sand and leave it like it is. He didn't say Kevin... He didn't say Ryan go pack sand. He just said leave it like it is. Leave it like it is. You guys happy with that setup? I am going to check and see if there's any boxes that go to any of these, but I don't think so. I think we were fortunate we found the original box for this uh, 4J. Perfect. Ted says perfect. Okay. If Ted and Kevin say perfect, Clint says perfect, Michael says looks good. Hey, David. I sent you the picture, David. <laughs> Signature. <laughs> I think that's what you wanted, right, David? I think. I said, dear, I said to David. I don't know if I was supposed to be to Michael or David. But I sent the picture. The cold jack. I sent to David. Okay, everybody says very good, very good. And they, this is perfect as far as the setup. All right. We are good to go. Big night tomorrow night. Don't forget, 6 to 7, bring your friends. We'll be out at the famous Wayne City Slot Car Speedway. It's big now. we got lights on now. We've got more parking available. The vendors have expanded. We just have we have more vendors. It's all still peanut patch uh, boiled peanuts, but we just have more vendors at different locations so there aren't long lines. We have have a, a diorama that shows long lines up to the peanut patch uh, vendors, but now we have more vendors, so the easier access. And... Um, you get your boiled peanuts. We also have um, auction from 6 to 7, race from 7 to 8. This is tomorrow night. And this is uh, Kolchak of Auto Slot Car Racing. 
investigating those cars prior to the auction. We appreciate uh, everybody's um, viewing. How can you have three? Okay, this, we, we just have a new record. We got 31 viewers, 50 thumbs up. Oh. <laughs> How do you figure? Well, because people come on and then they go off. They have to go off. 50, 31 viewers right now and 50 thumbs up. All right, that makes any sense, but anyway. That's a good, good, good. You guys, I just want to appreciate all of you guys, my fan base and my favorite guys out there that send me my gifts and, send, and that are thankful and they're really nice to me. Um, I appreciate that. And um, it's, it's been fun with uh, what we've been doing. I'll be, and I will be doing the auction tomorrow night, Ryan and I. So with that said, are we ready? Did you have anything else you had to add? As far as, I'm trying to think. I thought there was something about the two the trucks and trailers. Nothing there, right? It was just the... And then tomorrow night's big race. I'll be back. I'll be back with uh, racing tomorrow night. But I'll be a little cold. So I'm anticipating the pool shows that uh, Ryan's probably going to take the race. and So we'll see what happens. One race, ten laps. Do we get to practice a little bit, maybe? All right. We're signing off. Let me see Wait, if I... What are we practicing? Not right now. Tomorrow night, can we get to practice the uh, General Lee and police car first? I mean, got to do a couple of practice laps before we even start. See you guys. See you, Ted. Thank you. You guys are great. Appreciate it. Let me get the, let me see where I find the, the, the off button. Yes. <laughs> oh, it's too bad I don't race for Team Youngfish anymore. <laughs> How do you, where's the off button? Up here? Off. There we go.